Hello everyone, this is Gail, and in one of my, uh, I guess it was in my Hobby Lobby haul video that I did not too long ago, I showed you this glitterific uh, paint by Folk Art and said that I would be doing another tutorial later, and I guess it's later. So let me show you this. This is a very, very thick paint. And it's full of glitter. And this one is called Princess. And it is pinks and purples. And I'm going to put this out, put a glob of it out here on a index card. I will let you know, when I got this, the glitter came from the bottom up to here. And then there was this thick stuff at the top. And I did have to stir it to get the uh, glitter mixed in. But... It's done now, and I was wondering what I was going to use, and I have had this little Altoid tin for a long time that I had covered in scrap clay, and it's just been sitting here because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I think I'm going to use this glitter stuff, and I'm going to use a pouncer, but this could be a pendant, a ring, a bracelet, it could be anything. But I'm going to pick it up with a pouncer. I've never done this before, so please be patient. And then just kind of pounce this on. And I can see I'm going to use a lot more paint than I thought I was. They were saying these pouncers were the best thing to use for it, but I'm really thinking maybe, well, I don't know. A brush isn't going to be strong enough. But I'm just going to, look at the sparkle. And you can put as much or as little as you like on here. Um, I may just do the top. So let me just dab. And you can pounce, you can, you know, it's just up to you how much glitter you, you use. But it's, like I said, it's a very thick paint. You can see how hard it was for me to get this going because it's beginning to dry already. And let me see if I can... Oh, where's my tape? I'll just have to use scotch tape. I don't know where my masking tape is. I'm going to put some scotch tape over the bottom here so I don't get glitter on it. Well, okay, that solved that. The top comes off. That's right. That's I never did finish closing the thing on it. So now how am I going to do this? I'll hold here. I'm going to have to get some more paint. You see, you could use quite a bit of paint when a, with a project, but if it's, if it's a smaller project, you wouldn't have to use so much. Of course, I have purple fingers. And just... It works better if you just pounce, I notice. Rather than try to rub. And I guess I'll just put the rest. Let me get something to hold this down on. I'll just put the rest on top. And 
actually this came pretty clean, although it probably has the clear goop on it. So I'm just going to see how this cleans off. I'm going to go wash this. Wipe this off of my work surface before it hardens, and some of it already has, but I can use my blade for that. But I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll probably put some resin on it to seal it in, and we'll just see how this works. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I have finished my little box. I have two, uh, three coats of the Tiny Pandora Deep Shine Brush on Resin, which I absolutely love. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I left some of this paint. I let it dry what was left over because I wanted you to see the different sizes of glitter. You've got your little teeny tiny circle pieces, which is common in the fine glitter, but you've also got chunks and little bits and pieces. So this is really a really cool glitter. And again, it is uh, folk art glitterific paint. So I hope you like this. Um, you know, I've liked experimenting with it so now that I've used it and know a little bit more about how it acts and reacts I can start planning some projects using this paint. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.